Laura Collins, one of the most beloved characters on General Hospital, returned to Port Charles after months of absence. Her return not only brought hope to her family and friends, but also carried a dark secret that had never been revealed before. During her journey to find her son Lucky Spencer, Laura inadvertently fell into the hands of Sidwell, a formidable enemy with a long-standing grudge against Kevin Collins and who sought revenge on the Spencer family. Unbeknownst to anyone, while in Africa, Laura became the victim of a sophisticated brainwashing scheme, transforming her from a loving mother into a tool for Sidwell's sinister plots. Throughout her time in Africa, Laura not only had to face the challenge of finding Lucky, but also had to contend with the psychological traps Sidwell had laid for her. With his deep understanding of human psychology, Sidwell exploited Laura's deepest fears, turning her into a completely different person. Through suggestion and creating hallucinations, Sidwell convinced Laura that what she was doing was necessary to protect her family. That was when the dark plan was set in motion. Laura was tasked with poisoning her own daughter, Lulu Spencer, who lay comatose in the hospital in Port Charles, in order to ensure the safety of Lucky and the rest of the Spencer family. When Laura returned to Port Charles, no one noticed the subtle changes in her. To those around her, Laura was still the devoted mother, wife, and strong woman they had always trusted. Yet inside, Laura had become a puppet under Sidwell's control, and every day she visited her daughter, pretending to care for Lulu, she was secretly poisoning her. The small drops of poison she administered gradually weakened Lulu's health, prolonging her coma while no one could detect the true cause. Kevin Collins, Laura's husband, was the first to sense that something was amiss. Their conversations became more distant. Kevin noticed a change in Laura's eyes and tone, but out of love and trust for his wife, he initially brushed aside his doubts. He believed that, perhaps, Laura was simply exhausted after the long and stressful journey. However, Kevin's unease grew as he realized that Laura no longer seemed like herself. Her strange behavior made him increasingly anxious, but he couldn't yet fathom the horrifying truth that awaited. Meanwhile, Anna Devon, who was investigating Lulu's condition, began uncovering some crucial clues. When examining Lulu's body, she detected a rare toxin that could only appear in extraordinary circumstances, leading her to suspect interference from a mysterious force. With her sharp intuition and determination, Anna gradually discovered that it was Laura, the mother everyone trusted, who was behind the poisoning of her daughter. But the reason behind this action pained Anna even more. Laura was not the mastermind, but rather a victim of Sidwell's sophisticated brainwashing. The confrontation between Anna, Kevin, and Laura took place in an emotionally charged and tense setting. Kevin, who still loved his wife deeply, could not believe that the woman he had spent his life protecting had now become an enemy within their family. He was forced to face the heartbreaking truth that Laura had been turned into a tool by Sidwell and was no longer in control of her actions. In the moment she was confronted with the accusations, Laura experienced a painful awakening. She realized that she had harmed the very people she loved the most, and this realization caused her immense suffering. Now, fully aware of her actions, Laura not only had to face Sidwell in a final battle to save her family, but also had to wrestle with her own conscience. The pain of realizing that she had betrayed the trust of her loved ones, especially the fact that she had poisoned her own daughter, was not something easily overcome. Laura would have to find a way to atone for her mistakes regain the trust of her family and confront Sidwell, the man who had devastated her life and the lives of the Spencers. The final showdown between Laura, Kevin, and Sidwell would be a relentless battle. Could Laura regain control and save her daughter before it was too late? Or would Sidwell continue his manipulation and plunge the Spencer family into darkness forever?